Hi, I'm Mark Hobie, Producing Artistic Director here at Paper Mill Playhouse, and this is Director's Viewpoint. I'm also wearing a second hat right now because I'm the director of our current production of The Sound of Music. And I'm very excited to have my very good friend here, Kenny Ingram, um, who is the choreographer for this production. Um, Kenny and I, we go way back. Way back. Way back. So why don't you tell our uh, friends how we first met? Well, we first met when we were doing the production um, after Broadway, it was the first regional production of A Chorus Line. Right. And um, I met you in that show. I played Richie, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and I played Don. You played Don. Mm -hmm. And um, we became fast and furious friends. Yeah, that um, was a great production. It was it the really first was. regional production outside New York. And strangely enough, it was in the round. It was at a theater in the round, which seems so so odd for that show that's about a line. Yeah. Um, but it was great. Candy Tovar, Candace Tovar Candace was Cassie. Tovar, yeah. Who she was reset all that original choreography on us. Um, uh, but then we did a couple shows together out there in Chicago. We did. We did Hello Dolly together, right. which you were the dance captain. Then you went on to do uh, Best Little Whorehouse, and Across, then I right. became the dance captain for that show. Oh, is that true? Yeah. So that's what I happened. So that. see, it's always been passed on. And then yeah. we did some other productions out in um, Chicago. You At uh, the Candlelight Dinner Theater. Well, at right. Candlelight, we did My One and Only. Right. But we also did Grand Hotel, which you directed and, and choreographed, which that's I was right. with Jimmy in. That's right. So we've always been either on the other side of the table or on this side of the table. And right. I've been so grateful for that. And then there were, you know, our, our paths sort of went different ways yes. a little bit. Yes. Um, I left Chicago in 87, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, and went on tour, did yeah. a couple of national tours. You did too. Yeah, I did. I did, did. Uh, 42nd Street, Bob Fosse's Dancing, mm -hmm. the first time around. Yeah. The first time around, Bob Fosse's Dancing, and right. I did 42nd Street. I auditioned for that show. I didn't get it. Kenny got it. But anyway, <laughs> I'm not bitter. I got to work with Bob later. Yes, you did. But, um, yes, you but did. that was great. But, um, uh, yeah, then I, I sort of switched over. I did a couple of Broadway shows as a dancer. Yes. And then I became a choreographer. We worked together in a couple yes. of shows in Chicago with Mary at Lincolnshire. And then I got a call out of the blue um, from Carrie Walker at the Mary at Lincolnshire to come out and direct a production of Dream Girl. Yes. That you were choreographing. Yes, I was choreographing. You were already on it. I was already on the gig. The original director. Got some, something that, else. Yeah. And so I remember I walked in um, to the first day of rehearsal. I knew you and I knew each yes. other, obviously. But I didn't know any of the cast. We never met them. No, you did, but it's already cast and you came in. And I was like, oh, yeah. and who are you playing? You're, yeah. you're Dina? Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah. But um, that was kind of a pivotal show for us. I that think. was. We were blessed enough to have Heather Headley. Heather that. Headley, Heather yes. Heather Headley was a, a baby coming out of she Northwestern. Was in, yeah, she was at Northwestern. Yeah. She was, I think she was a sophomore or freshman, and she played Michelle. She and played Michelle. And understudied. I, and, uh, she was Dina Understudy. Dina Understudy, Angela Robinson, who right. was a Tyler Perry, big. Yeah, and the haves and have haves and have And, and, and Angela's big. Heavy, been here heavy, heavy hitters in that show. But anyway, um, that was uh, years before I I knew of Paper Mill, but I right. I don't think I'd ever even been here. Well, I, I had I, been here. You were here uh, in what year was that? 80? I was here in 1988. I did my one and only. All right, with my George Dvorsky, with George Dvorsky, Donna Kane, Donna Kane, right. and that was my first introduction to Paper Mill, and I just fell in love. I yeah. fell in love. But it was funny because I grew up in New Jersey, but kind of in central South Jersey and Freehold, and I'd heard of mm -hmm. Paper Mill, mm -hmm. but I didn't really, you know, know it. I, I did one show here. I did Oklahoma, mm. and I was third cowboy from the left. I was like a nobody. <laughs> but then um, I remember right after we did Dream Girls in Chicago. Yes. Um, Paper Mill was doing Dream Girls. Yeah. And the former artistic director, uh, Robert Hansen, called me up yeah. and asked if I would be interested in directing it here, wow. which was crazy. It and was. I thought, yes, of course. I said, can I bring my good pal, Kenny, <laughs> right? And yes. um, yeah, and so we 
yeah, we worked on that production here, which was kind of one of the first major revivals outside New York, outside or the New York, or a national tour. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It yeah. really was. We had done we had done Dream Girls in at the Marriott, but that was a smaller production than around great cast: yeah. Angela Robinson, yeah. Latanya Holmes, Latanya Holmes, um, uh, uh, Felicia, Felicia, who Felicia Fields, Color Felicia Purple. Fields, who. Uh, I uh, was in color purple, in Broadway. one of the Lashans, yeah. just fabulous. But yeah. um, so they brought us here to create our own production yeah. oh, of Dreamgirls. It was amazing. So good. Yeah. Sharon Wilkins, Sharon Wilkins. and Angela. Um, Marshall Titus. Marshall Titus, Alton. who did it in both places. Alton White, yeah. who was in Lion King forever. Yeah. Um, but that was my kind of real introduction to Paper Mill. And yeah. then I started. Uh, you know, directing here and then eventually came on staff here. But speaking of Alton and Lion King, yeah. then our paths went away again, yeah. right? I was yeah. a director and choreographer around country and then you did Lion King for a few years, I right? did Lion King for many years. I oh. did Lion King for five years on national tour and then 10 years on Broadway. Wow. So 15 years altogether, wow. I was doing Lion King and I, I loved it. I hope yeah. you saved your pennies. I did. Yeah. So <laughs> that was crazy. Um, and uh, then we, you know, I lived in New York, you lived yeah. in New York, we knew each other, but yeah. it's only been in these last couple of years that we've gotten back together and started working together again. Absolutely, right? yeah. And I was doing, uh, two seasons ago, our opening show was um, Songs for a New World. Mm -hmm. And I called you up and said, hey, would you come help me with a couple of numbers? I was ecstatic. It was great. Yeah. It was an amazing cast. It was an amazing cast. And that was a very special show for us and for the theater because it was our reintroduction to live audiences. Yes. We had a great cast, Carol Lee Carmelo, Roman mm -hmm. Banks, yeah. Mia Panero, you know, just top notch. But you came back and worked on that with us. Yes. And then um, we brought you back again. That yes. Day. So like a month later, which yeah. was really exciting. <laughs> for the for another, our, we have so much in common with Disney. Disney, too, right? my family. Yeah. I love Disney. So uh, when we premiered the uh, um, Jolly Holiday, right, a Jolly Holiday, which yeah. was a celebration of Disney on Broadway, you came back and choreographed that with yes. uh, Casey. Casey, Hush love me some Casey. Yeah, <laughs> and a great cast with that show too. Yes, it was a top notch cast. Yeah, it was a top notch cast. And Disney. that. You know, Dreamgirls was heavy dancing. Yes, it right? was. Big, and we've done a lot of shows like that. Um, 42nd Street? 42nd Street, we did. But yeah. you know what was so cool to me with that Dreamgirls production here was that set. Yeah. That set just danced, and yeah. it, it danced, so we had to dance. We had yeah. no choice but to dance. It was right? amazing. And But on the flip side then, um, Jolly Holiday and Songs for a New World, it's, it's not really dance. It's no. staging with a little choreography, choreography right? Yeah. You had to work. We had a great cast oh, for Jolly Amazing Holiday. Cast. Right? Kissy Simmons. Kissy and Dan. Um, oh, Dan, right? Dan and uh, yeah, they were great. But you were really staging them in staging numbers. It wasn't them. some heavy yeah. dance. Right? Yeah. So um, I just wanted to have you around. Well, I enjoy being around. You know, <laughs> I love it. You know, we, we, we always have a good time. And and this has been such an amazing experience working on Sound of Music yeah. with you because, um, you know, I, I was going to see this show with my mom. So I feel like this is a um, a, a full circle to get a chance to get to, to um to do the show with you. Yeah, yeah. it was funny because um, I, I never directed it before. Yeah. You never choreographed it before. I never choreographed it before. before. And um, it's like, when you talk about classic shows, oh, it amazing. is, yeah, amazing. the score is amazing. It's iconic, right, yeah. this show, and that was made into the film that everybody knows. Yes. Every song, I mean, they do those sing-alongs where they show the movie and they invite the audience to, yeah. you know, sing along. I think they even project the lyrics onto the screen. Yes. So people really know this show. Um, and I, I was excited about it. I was nervous too. Yeah, right? I, was, I was nervous. Right? People yeah, come in, know, when people know a show, they have a lot of expectations, absolutely right? Absolutely, they do. They've seen it before uh, at another theater right. or even in their uh, high school production. Yes. They all know the movie. And we've done the show, I think this is the sixth production wow. that Paper Mill has done over the 85 years, though, whatever that we've wow. been around. Um, but we did it 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And then 10 years before that. So we, mm -hmm. I guess we kind of do it every 10 years. Um, so it was a little daunting to me to say, wow, you know, this is, it was Rodgers and Hammerstein's last show, last one they ever wrote together. Mm. Um, 
and it's so iconic and so classic and you know what am i going to bring to it how how are we going to do it differently so i remember i called you up and i said do you want to work on it <laughs> yes you know? i was so excited but i but i love it i love what you've done with it i love what we've done with it i love that you've made it paper mills production yeah and that's what i love with working with you is that you find it and you you etch it out and you you bring your energy to it and bring a phenomenal cast to it a top-notch cast well to this, it. Cast this cast is cast. amazing oh i mean amazing Ooh. and we were talking about this wow. yesterday at dinner that yeah. uh, all the preliminary auditions were done um, by video submission. Mm. <laughs> and we had um, over 300 children submit. Wow. And over yeah. 3,000 adult actors. That's just crazy. That's nuts. Yeah. And our casting director, Nora Brennan, and our former uh, Associate Artistic Director Patrick, Patrick Parker watched every one of those yes, auditions. They did. I didn't watch them, mm. but they were everybody who submitted was seen, vetted, yeah. and looked at. So by the time they came before us, mm -hmm. it was like the mm -hmm. cream of the crop. It was right? the cream of the crop. Our now we did shows. make a couple of offers to people. Mm -hmm. Ashley mm -hmm. Blanchett is back. Yes. She's playing Maria Von Trapp. She's spectacular. So uh, she's been with us a couple of times. She was first here in a production of Ever After, oh, based okay. on the Drew Barrymore movie. She was in the ensemble, She and she she's a phenomenal dancer. She's a really great yeah. dancer. And she understood the lead. And then she was in Cinderella that I directed That's here. That's off. She, she was amazing. Right? Was she oh, amazing? so good. She's like, so good. So good. The, the, the ultimate professional, yes. just an actress who's ready to try anything. Like, yeah. Will you stand on your head, will you jump off that yeah, stool? Like, sure, her. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> but the other thing that I think was so exciting about this show is, and I remember talking to the Rogers and Hammerstein estate, the mm. people who represent them, and mm -hmm. saying, you know, in this day and age, um, I think our audience is ready to see a new look on this production. Absolutely. That we would like to cast the people in these roles, the best person who comes in for the role, Absolutely. no matter what they look like, tall, short, Thin, right. not thin, right. you know, black, white, right. Asian, whatever. Right. Um, and that's the way we'd like to approach it. And so yeah. they were like, great. And so that's what we did. Well, that's wonderful because that's how I feel being here. And I thank yep. you for that. Oh, I thank kind. Paper Mill for that. My because kind. I don't know of another black choreographer who's had the opportunity to choreograph Sound of Music. So I thank Paper Mill. I thank well, you for that. That's it's It's opened up my eyes and it's allowed me to show what I can do with something like this in, a, in my real house. Oh, so good. I mean, you know, and it's all about that, right? Like, yeah. I I don't think of myself as a classical director of mm -hmm. like these kind of shows. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we were both learning and finding it together, right? Yeah. Um, and that's, that's I, I hope that's what it's about here at but Paper you know Mill, what, is though? giving people that opportunity. Yes, but you know what, though? We were born in this, I don't want to say in this era, but we grew up watching these movies, those yeah. classics, yeah. you know, the Gypsies yeah. and, you know, Carousel and yeah. all of those classics. And even when West I Side hear Story. this, West Side Story, yeah, yeah. and when I hear what Meg has done with this phenomenal orchestra that y'all have. Yeah, Meg Zerulis, our oh, musical director. But, but the, the music in this show is just- It's so good. Incredible. And it's brilliantly written. Yeah. It's just brilliantly written song, 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 production number, yeah. song, you know, it's just. And then when you have a cast like we do, yeah. right? Like yeah. I remember, first of all, we have Ashley Blanchett who is playing Maria Von Trapp mm -hmm. and um, Graham Rowett, oh, yes. who's He's the phenomenal. captain, who's just spectacular. Um, uh, Kathleen, who plays our mother Abbas, oh, who is every down the house. Rent. Every night at the end of Act One, when she sings "Climb Every Mountain," get I just, ready. <laughs> I can't even take it. Right. But you know, the ensemble too. Like yes. The nuns, the oh. most amazing voices. Oh my God. When they sing some of this, you know, beautifully written ecclesiastic yes. music that oh. feels so um, reverent yes. and and joyful. Yes. Um, and they're just they're just incredible it's a celebration. Um, but I think you know you can't help but fall in love with the kids. Oh, the right. Kids. Oh, I have to mention Gavin Lee and Emily yes. Romeo yes, who yes, play yes. Max and Elsa, who are also spectacular. But we have just a great group of kids. <laughs> we really do. They're they're good. 
They're, they're talented. Good. They're very talented. They're they work sweet. so hard. They work really hard. Really this is hard. a show that is demanding on the kids. Yes. They're in a lot. And a lot. They're on stage a lot. And I don't know if um, people realize that when kids are in a show, they still have to go to school. Yeah. And so Paper Mill, as the employer, takes on the responsibility to make mm -hmm. sure that they continue their studies. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. with adult actors, we get them from 10 to 6. Right. Everybody gets an yes. hour for lunch, but we get them all day. Kids, we don't get that. Mm -mm. They have to go to school. Tutor. They have to go to school three hours a day. Yeah, tutor. And they, so we have tutors that come in when we were in New York City. Mm -hmm. They would actually start the kids early at 9.30 before yep. the actors were, the adult actors were called. Yep. They would tutor from 9.30 to 12.30. Then we'd get them for one hour after lunch. That's it. Then That was it. Then everybody went to lunch for an hour and then we'd have them in the afternoon. afternoon. Right. But that is not a lot of time. No. You know? But they're quick, they're fast, they're so professional. They've been amazing. They were great. And we all we um we uh were also smart because we brought them in early. We we yes. scheduled two days, two Sunday afternoons mm -hmm. before the company ever got together. That was smart. And just worked with the young people. We have um six young people who are in the cast, yep, and then we have two young people who cover and help us swing. swing yeah, yeah. Um, let's see if we can remember all their names. So Coleman plays Friedrich. Coleman. Right. Yeah. Well, first Annalise. Annalise. Um, who was in um, uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, Broadway. she was in Mrs. Doubtfire. So just going down the line. And then it's um, Coleman Simmons. Coleman. Yes. Right. Then JC Sink, JC. who is Louisa. Yes. Um, then uh, then we have Tara, Tara, who's Brigida. Brigida. Um, uh, yeah, um, Kurt, Kurt, Kurt is Cody. played by Cody Braverman. Cody, Cody Braverman. And then our sweet little um, Gretel. <laughs> Gretel. Is Charlotte. L. Charlotte. Oh, L, right. I forgot. L. Marta. L plays Marta. And then Charlotte. Charlotte. Uh, who plays. Um, Char Char. Gretel, Char Char. We have two Charlottes. <laughs> we have two we Charlottes. Have Charlotte Ewing. Charlotte Harrington is Gretel. And Charlotte Ewing is so our swing. sort of and, swing standby and, child. And, and then Ethan. We have Ethan. Who swing covers the boys. Yeah. And he so, was. What show was he in? He was um, a swing oh, he was in, in Tina. Tina on Broadway. He was in Tina, that's right. So, you know, that's pretty amazing. He's right. a young kid. I mean. And he's swinging. Is he 11? Ten, kind of 10 or 11? I think so. He's already like been on Broadway yeah. and now he's here covering two roles yeah. um, in our production. That's amazing. And um, <laughs> though, I got to say, those kids, um, <laughs> our standby kids, are they know it. They They're on it. They're ready to roll. Because we have rehearsal. They are ready to go. Yeah. They're ready, and they're going to go in. <laughs> yeah, you know, they're, we we've slated performances for them to go on, that's, that's so fantastic. that their families can come and that's enjoy fantastic. it and that's see great. them in it. Because, yeah. you know, um, these kids work hard, yeah. but their parents work just as hard, right? Right. I mean, it is right. a commitment to have a kid in show business. Yeah, and you got to drive back and forth, oh, and forth and back, pick them up at lunch. Yeah, take care of them dinner. and dinner and and all of that. Um, but Sound of Music, just uh, the show itself is, I mean, fortunately and unfortunately, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. an enduring story, right? It really is. Like, it's obviously set in the time period in Austria, yeah. where the Germans, Nazis were invading, um, taking over that country there. And, right, um, right, yes. You know, that echoes what's happening today. Yes, it really over does. Over in the Ukraine with right. Russia there. Right. So, yes. you know unfortunately the themes of the show right are still relevant and, and prevalent yeah. um you know we look at it through a historical lens mm -hmm. but but it's um, still that hatred and that, that way that people um you know still can look at others yes um without even knowing them yes and um you know have have a distaste or a hatred or a fear Mm. Right, and um, I think that's why we do shows like this over Absolutely. and over. Absolutely, you know, not only is it a wonderful story, it's a story about family and finding your path and your goal in life, right? Yes, and 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 the creating music. a family, right? Yes, with beautiful music. Beautiful it's, music. It's also to remind us that if we're not careful, 
um, bad things can happen again. Well, that's what's so beautiful about this particular production is that we have so many people telling the story. Yeah. So many actors, and that's what's beautiful that yeah. you've done. It's a it's a big cast. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I, I love. I think it's thirty seven people all together, with not a lot of nuns. Um, but the the principals, the ensemble, the nuns, the children, and our standbys. Um, we have two chil uh, children standbys and two swings mm -hmm. too. Um, so it's a lot of people. Yeah. But grateful to have them all here. Yeah, they're so invested. They they really get along. Um, their talent is amazing. It shines through. And you know, it's funny that um, I think it was Christmas Eve they used to show this movie on TV. Mm. And so it's funny that. The Sound of Music has nothing to do with Christmas or the holidays, but people right. feel like it's a holiday show. And I think part of it is because my so much of the things. theme is my favorite thing. My favorite thing. That song people right. sing at Christmas and also the theme about family. But And I believe they used to show it on Christmas Eve hmm. back when you couldn't just, you know, right. dial it up on your computer and stuff. We had to wait right. for things like that. Yeah, but um, sure did, didn't yeah, you? we're just happy. Put your VCR tape in and <laughs> hope you catch it. But um, we're happy to have it here to share with our audience yes. at this very special time of year where we're all thinking about how blessed we are, yes. right? Amen. Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, Hanukkah, yeah. all the holidays that happen around this time. Yes. I'm grateful for um, Paper Mill. I'm grateful for all those, all of you, patrons, supporters, donors who come to Paper Mill, for the actors, for the creatives, yes. for my good friend, Thank Kenny. You. Thank you. Thank who's you. here helping us put this production on. And um, for everybody who, who comes to see it, comes yes. out to see it. So. I thank you for joining me on thank the show. Thank you for having me here. I'm grateful for the diversity of this fantastic company. I am too. Thank you. I'm grateful for that too. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to seeing all of you out there yes. here at Paper Mill to enjoy our production of The Sound of Music, which runs through uh, the first of the year, January 1st. See you all soon. See you at Paper Mill.